Mike Fink uh, confirming a series of uh, lights that are on on the helmet camera mounted on the uh, top of the Orlon spacesuit helmet for Yuri Lonchakov. This wireless vision system helmet camera first used on a Russian spacesuit back in July during the spacewalks by Sergei Volkov and Alek Kononenko. If all goes as planned, we should see uh, helmet camera views from Lonchakov's suit uh, a short time from now as he uh, will work on his various tasks of routing cables and uh, other uh, connectors uh, for first uh, the Langmuir probe and then the other various experiments that will be mounted to the hull of the Zvezda service module. And the, you're facing the sun. No, the sun is to my back. All right, I'm in place at the back side. And then I'll give the cable to Yuri. Affirmative. I am proceeding to handrails. Hold on, let me confirm to you, Sergey. What we should do right now is this, Misha. Are you going to be uh, conveniently located to... So once again, uh, at the five-hour, five-minute mark into the spacewalk, Fink and Lonchakov uh, will begin uh, to head back uh, toward piers, uh, carrying with them the Expose R European science experiment that uh, they could not uh, bring to activation. A, uh, another experiment, a Russian plasma experiment called Impulse, is up and running in good shape. The crew uh, was able uh, to uh, successfully install uh, the Langmuir electromagnetic uh, environment probe that is gathering data up and running in good shape according to the Russian flight controllers to measure the electromagnetic environment around the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Yuri Michael. Yuri Michael. Yes. 